hello everyone and welcome back to a new vlog this is actually the first time i have vlogged since we have moved out of our house um it has just been we've had a crazy few weeks um and obviously the whole world like with everything going on in ukraine i just haven't felt justified to talk about it to you all i guess like, i didn't want to seem like oh boo hoo kind of thing um but amidst everything like that we obviously moved out of our house we got into this one it has taken us quite a bit of time to unpack i'm still unpacking like there is a black sack right next to me of another bag of shoes which i forgot um so i'm still unpacking and things like that but then we got news from our it keeps going out of focus we got news from our wedding venue out of the blue and I did film bits of it and I think one at one point I was filming and Adam called me to give me more bad news and I'm like in tears so I don't know if I'm going to share that um <laughs> I don't know but I don't really want to go into it but I filmed it because I didn't know what the outcome was going to be and I didn't know what I would be telling you guys so basically the venue have um we almost lost our wedding venue for two weeks we basically had no wedding venue while this was getting sorted um i went and had a wedding dress fit in where they it was actually a wedding dress alteration with jenny which i didn't film because that was it was the day after we found out that we didn't we no longer had a wedding venue so it was like really horrible going to that fit in and not even knowing if we were getting married this year because we had yeah we didn't know what was happening so um so yeah we had like two weeks of thinking we've lost our wedding venue and we have to look elsewhere so basically due to covid there has been price increases on the island um but we got this email from the venue kind of asking for quite a substantial substantial amount more for our wedding day to go ahead as as is as like plans um i don't want to go into it too much because you know we're in a position now where the wedding is still going ahead um we've come to another if any of you i literally a few weeks ago i uploaded a video talking to you about um the situation we were put in with the venue a few years ago um, and we managed to come up with a negotiation and I was literally saying a few weeks ago in that video how lucky it was that we still have the venue and I feel so grateful and I don't care as long as we're at the venue and it's all like we're, we're just all there. Um, anyway we had to negotiate with the venue once again um, in order to secure the venue. So it was touch and go for a little while. I was very emotional and Adam was like, oh, I'm glad to see you like this. At least I know you want to marry me. <laughs> um, yeah, because I just haven't been. It's been really confusing and hard. As soon as we found our venue, lockdown basically happened. Um, so I haven't been planning anything apart from my dress. Um, so it's all systems go. We now have a DJ booked. I'm in talks with my florist and you know we are almost finalizing fl floral details. Um, I found a suit for Alfie last night, Adam has his suits, um, I've ordered fabric swatches for my bridesmaids dresses and yeah just like finer details now and I've started planning my hen. Um, not sure where we're going to have it yet but that's, a, that's another thing. Um, I've sent some emails out to some venues to see like what they have on on those days that we, we, I'm basically going to do my hen out in Ibiza so everyone coming to the wedding will already be out in Ibiza and we can all have a hen out there together so that would be really nice um so yeah anyway I just thought I would let you give you that little nugget of information about the wedding um and I need to head downstairs because I can hear Alfie going into the cupboards but we're just a chill day at home today the weather is not very good at all I have some parcels arriving so I'm going to unbox them with you I have one downstairs right now from We Are Twin Set the brand and just take you along me and Adam are going out for date night tonight so I will show you what I'm wearing today what I'm wearing tonight Woo! 
Ah, dizzy, dizzy. <laughs> Do you like that? No, I like that one. Are oh, you on the TV? Arm. Okay, your eyes closed. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna get you a seat. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Ready? It's coming. Put out your hand. Keep your eyes closed and give me your hand. Keep your eyes closed. That's it. Give me your hand. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Love you. I literally cannot get anything done at home today. Alfie is just so restless and just is wanting 100% attention. So I have taken them over to the field and he's currently playing in some leaves with blue. You can just about see them. Um, so I thought I'd break up the day. Oh, he's fallen in the leaves. That's okay. Um, I thought I'd break up the day, pop over to here, take Blue for a nice long walk and then head back and hopefully get to show you some of the bits that arrived, have arrived. A nasty girl, order has arrived and what was the other one? Oh, in the style, Lorna Lux has got a new collection of kind of like airport looks um, so I ordered some bits from there. Can you hear the aeroplane? Yeah. Is it a big one? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh, and, enormous. And, and, and noisy. Yeah. Look at Blue, he's seen something. What has he seen? Come on, Blue. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get to show you that. But if not, I will have to continue this vlog tomorrow. Um, you want a big one? Okay, let's go look for a big stick. Um, so yeah, it's just really hard to get things done. Sometimes he's so good and like he just potters around playing. But I guess where we're at this house, we haven't got all of his toys. He hasn't got his playroom anymore. Um, yeah, so it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. You hold him blue. Oh, whoopsie. Go get in the lead. Go get it. Kick, kick, kick. Quickly, quickly. Blue, stop there. Good boy. Yeah, you got to run with him. <laughs> Be quick. Alfie's finding it really funny but honestly he's only just put this new tracksuit on from River Island it's been on him like half an hour and now it's all muddy and dirty I didn't think about that did I this way Alfie where are we going back home he keeps he keeps saying are we going to Ibiza are we going to Ibiza and I'm like, not yet, soon. Adam is now back, so I'm just about to head off. I'm gonna pop back to the other house and get some more bits and then um, go pick up Pollyanna from school. It's so dark today, isn't it? It's crazy. Uh, this is what I'm wearing. You will see this in, I'm filming a what I wore in a week video. So this will be part of that and all the details will be in there. They'll also be in the description box of this video too. This is the aftermath of trying to find something to wear tonight. I'm not even joking, look how many pairs of jeans I tried every single one on. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there were some black jeans as well, which I've put away. And do you know what I've ended up wearing? What I've had on all day. I'm just not in the mood to put together an outfit. I have changed my hair, I've put it up higher, and I've put a red lip on because that always makes me feel a bit date nighty. But yeah, I've just gone for the same thing. I'm not in the mood to dress up today and everything I put on I just wasn't feeling so I'd rather feel comfortable when I'm feeling like this. This is just our starters. Oh, thank you, we need them. So we've got pork belly, camembert. I wasn't expecting to have this much bread with it. What are these? Prawn. 
popcorn prawns. Popcorn prawn, and then we've got some pork belly bites. Happy Friday everybody. I never know what way to go because it's such a mess everywhere. You've got the floral wallpaper or we've got the messy, messy wardrobe. Um, today's Thursday. I have a Zara delivery come in. I have a Nasty Girl delivery here and an In The Style delivery here and I'm going to open them all up with you today. Um, I have got on my We Are The Twin, We Are Twin Set, the brand tracksuit and I love it so much I've just done a little outfit of the day for what I wore this week video um, but let me just show you guys quickly as well um, it's absolutely stunning it is so stunning the kids have sets as well they're matching I paired it with my New Balance and the Primark cashmere well, they're not cashmere but um, you know cashmere style st socks um, but just absolutely Love it. Hello, Blue. You coming away to get away from the kids? Hello. Hello. Last night dinner was lovely, wasn't it? But I... Oh, really? I left Blue's steak on the table, though. I, I, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I asked them to, because I didn't eat all my steak, so I said, oh, could I take it away? And then I left it on the table. I was so sad, I'm still not over it. So yeah, this is today's outfit of the day. Kids are also in We Are Twin Set, so I'm gonna try and get Adam to come and grab a photo quickly before they get all messy. We're just off to a play area today. I probably won't film much of that. I will, but that will be going up on their YouTube channel, um, which I will also link in the description box if you haven't checked that out. Your kids might like to watch my children play in. <laughs> Um, they are obsessed with watching other YouTubers and Pollyanna has just been constantly asking can we do YouTube, can we do YouTube and I started a little while ago but na recently she's just been constantly like saying can we watch my videos so um, I thought yeah why not, it's what mummy does so we, we're all used to it anyway. The kids are just downstairs having lunch, last night's dinner was amazing it is it is up there with my top three three restaurants in Thanet. we went to the cow shed and oh my goodness we had so many starters um it was just amazing and steak for mains chunky chips a really good peppercorn sauce mushrooms on the side the mushrooms were the best mushrooms i have ever ever tasted i wanted to ask them actually how they cooked them because they were like pan fried and then maybe like put in the grill they were like really crispy oh my god it's making my mouth water right now it was amazing and then we come back and then we started watching Pam and Tommy which if you haven't seen it's bizarre like the second episode if any of you have seen it you'll know what I'm talking about I was like what the hell is this um I think we've done like three or four episodes last night so um we've probably nearly finished that one but um yeah I'd really recommend watching that Pam just is Pamela is so gorgeous she I was watching it her style her hair, it makes me want to cut my, get a little fringe again, but I won't do anything until after the wedding now. Um, but yeah, like she's just so blonde in it and it just really makes me want to go like that blonde again as well. But again, won't, won't do anything drastic until after the wedding now because I'd hate to have any hair regrets. <laughs> so yeah, kids are just having lunch. I'm going to go down, finish feeding them and then head off out, take you with me. And then when I get back, I will do the unboxings of what I've got and try them on for you as well. If you can push your legs out and in and you'll go higher out in that's it keep doing that in and out oh, careful <laughs> I don't know careful they don't nibble watch your bottles put your bottles on the floor hello hello 
Lucy. They told you. They're so cute, aren't they? Hello. Oh. They hold you. Yeah. <laughs> what with it? Lovely, they're just so cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, back now from taking the kids out and I feel cream crackered. I'm hoping it doesn't come off so much in the video. But yeah, just feeling like I, this day can now be over. Um, as promised, I've got some bits I'm going to unbox with you. First impressions, my Zara order, Nasty Girl and In The Style. So yeah, let's start off with In The Style. Now Lorna Lux has just released a new collection, which is very... There goes my phone. Which is very much airport style clothing, which I think is like a genius idea because we all must go through the same thing. When it gets to an airport, oh, when it gets to going away, we all think, what can we wear? We all want to wear a lounge set, something comfortable. So she's released some with some really cute motif motifs on them um and the colors are amazing let me move that one out of the way a bit so she's released a yellow set so first up we have the bon voyage jumper in a really nice pastel lemon color and the motif motif the like the motif on them is actually really really good quality it's got it's kind of like teddy fabric toweling fabric even on the the lettering and i love the font on this um so that was this one and i got a size 10 i think lorna wears a 12 in hers but that looks pretty big so i'm glad i went for the the 10 and not the 12 but um i'll try them all on with you as well to go with that she didn't have joggers in the lemon unless i was a little bit late but they had the shorts. Now, the lemon actually doesn't look as good on the camera. It, it looks a lot more brighter, um, but these, I thought, were such a good piece for summer. Got a size eight, they look quite big. They have big, deep pockets, tie waistband, and it's really not focusing very well, is it? It's got a really nice tie waistband, and like a raw, a raw rolled hem. Okay, I'm hoping that's a little bit better. I've changed the focus. Um, so yeah, like the hem is like raw and then it rolls up. Um, sorry, Adam's in the kitchen cooking dinner, if you can hear background noise. And the kids are watching TV, so you, you can probably hear a lot of background noise. Um, but they're the shorts to go with the jumper. So I thought I would get the sets just to see what they look like. The next colour that she has is like a bubblegum pink. And this one says take off. Now I really love the pink in this. I'm, I've been really loving pink since I've been wearing it a lot lately. And this is a size 12. So I got a 12 in this one and a 10 in the other one. So it'll be interesting to see what the sizing is like. This looks pretty big. Um, Adam said he could wear it. <laughs> he does like wearing pink. And for that set, they also have the joggers. So I went for the joggers. They've got a nice big cuff at the bottom actually, I quite like that. And then again, pockets, which I love, and a tie waistband, which I really like. And they're a size eight, so I'm hoping that will look quite nice together. I really liked how she styled it. She styled them with her Celine trainers, so they're like a high top trainer. I don't have any kind of high top style trainers. Um, I think in the style actually done a pair of white ones, but they had like a gray sole. Um, and I think that was only like 15 pounds. So that was in the style. Next we have something from Nasty Girl. This is something for the wedding week. The week of the wedding. Um, hello. Can you say hello? Um, so the week of the wedding, I want to wear white all week. So the week of the wedding, I want to wear all white. So I have been looking at, and if I see anything that anyone pops up with and like shows and I'm like oh I like that and then I'm gonna get it oh no they sent it to me in black and it's size I don't know it's the right size oh my god what Gus 
this. Sun. It was so nice. So I saw this on the Fashion Buzz blog. I'll insert a phone tag. Not raw. And it came in four other colours. And I made sure I clicked the white because... Mummy, this is not yours. One minute. When I was purchasing it, it <laughs> didn't have a photo. It didn't have like... It like wouldn't load the photo. But I clicked white and then I ordered... I definitely ordered white. But they've obviously no. sent me black. That's so annoying. And they had like 50% off, which they have. They seem to always have 50% off, don't they? Um, so that has to go back. Oh, that's it. That was that one. Okay, now into the Zara order. It looks so colourful and pastel-like. Um, I will link to everything in the description box below for you. Um, but this is from the new inn because I'm planning to style a reel. Hopefully tomorrow while the kids are at school. Um, and hopefully it's all still in stock. But I will link to everything. So first up we have this top which was, oh it's got euros on it. Um, yeah so I can't tell you the prices because it has euros. Um, I think it was like 25 99 um, I just thought this would be lovely with jeans. I have a brunch tomorrow, a bottomless brunch with the girls, which starts at 2 o'clock. Um, so I kind of needed a nice outfit. Um, so I thought this with flares would be really nice, or straight leg jeans, and like in the summer, like raffia sandals, wedges. I just thought that was really beautiful. And it's got this kind of um, stitch detail on there, and then on the neck as well. And I love a frill frilled high neck because you can have it buttoned up or you can have it like a little bit looser so it looks different each time you wear it kind of thing to me it isn't really anything special um it does fit nice the sleeves are really nice and kind of flowy and also where it's that thin fabric you'd get the breeze through the sleeves through the sleeves <laughs> I can't talk properly um yeah but to me it just isn't anything special I've paired it with white denim and brown i think they they're the colors that are like a lovely color combination but personally i don't think i need another blouse like this in my wardrobe another kind of boohoo top that i got was this one this is 27.99 and this looks so like it looks like nothing here but on the model it's like beautiful very 70s i could picture this with like big round chloe sunglasses wedges um, platforms, flares, just so beautiful, jeans on holiday, like denim jeans, um, really love it and again the neckline you could have it not tied up so it'd be loose and kind of really flowy but I thought this was very beautiful, very like Chloe inspired. I knew I would love this so I've, I would go for like a really 70s vibe. I'm really annoyed that I, my raffia platforms are at the other house so I have no kind of platforms to try this outfit on with apart from these gold ones and this these aren't what I would normally wear with them so I'm really struggling to try and see if I would wear it and then look the Chloe dupes are out which is how you know it is nearly summertime um, but yeah really love this top it is a little bit cropped which I didn't actually notice on the site but I love it I love the sleeves and I think I would have it undone rather than tied up I would definitely yeah, have it like undone if I could get a nice little gold necklace that would look cute um, and I think just with flares because it makes it gives it that 70s look doesn't it I think this top is a potential for tomorrow um, but yeah I just need to go and get my other shoes I think this is quite a nice comfortable but cute look i mean it clogs it's a vibe <laughs> it completely goes but i just don't think i'd want to wear these for a brunch i think i'd wear these more just like every day i haven't actually wore these yet they've been in my wardrobe since the end of last summer still got the things on them now this one now i don't know if any of you follow or have heard of annie's ibiza they are a vintage store um, and she only had a store in Ibiza but she's just opened one in London last year. She now has her own range of clothing for her store and she has this kind of puff ball dress. I'll link an image for you and it is so beautiful. I think it's like 400 and something pound but I've not stopped. It's It's been living rent free in my head for 
like months now but this reminded me of it just the, the like shape of it and again this looks better on than off so it has a corset detail on top and then a puff full bottom and it's actually shorts and I thought it was dress so yeah I thought this was really really nice this was 29.99 and I just thought for summer it would be beautiful if you had a wedding to go to. Absolutely love this one. It makes me feel like a little dolly. Um, I can't, I just, yeah, the corset is very, very fitting. Um, but I think I like it like that. I think if I sized up, it might be a bit too gappy. It's such a cute piece. You'll have to let me know what you think. Like at first it feels a bit funny because this bit here is completely separate to the shorts. Um, so it feels feels strange but it is I really like the idea of it and the colours and just yeah I love it it's almost making me think that I don't want to wear all white the week of the wedding I might do the opposite and not wear white until the wedding day because there's just so much good colour about at the moment and I'm obsessed with wearing colour and then I just wanted to pair it with some sandals to see what it looks like as well um little black raffia bag and I think it's really cute. I think it's such a nice holiday piece. A nice going out for brunch with your girls. It's a statement piece, definitely. Yes, sorry about the noise of the microwave as well. It's like really hard to, to find a spot to film in this house because we lose the light here at the front of the house. So this is the back of the house. Um, so yeah, hence I'm in the kitchen and Shepherd's Pie is in, on the go. Now this one, I feel like the dresses at the moment on Zara are very House of CB, which again, they're like over a hundred pound. And this was 27 99 How beautiful. It's like a little slip cami dress in a green print, green floral 90s, like 90s are so in at the moment. This, this spring summer, 90s are everywhere. And I just thought this was so beautiful has a little bow front and I just hope this fits because it looks a little bit small but I hope that fits again for a wedding if you were going to a wedding abroad beautiful ah this one is so cute I love it now size wise I think it's okay um the straps are adjustable on this one which makes it better and I fit into the cups quite nicely then actually maybe like my boob literally is there. I don't know if I, at first I was like, oh, it's a bit too much chesty on show, but um, I don't know. I don't know, it fits quite nicely here. And um, oh, it's so beautiful. It doesn't cling to you either. So like normally this kind of fabric, you can see my cesarean scar, um, but it kind of flows off you quite beautifully. So it doesn't really show your lumps and bumps, if, if do you know what I mean? And then like the bottom is just a little bit longer, so you don't have to worry about your bum being on show. Oh, it's just so nice. And then again, I've put it with the platforms because, you know, picture this in Ibiza, off for dinner, night out with your girls on a hen do. I don't know. It's just so nice. And obviously it would go perfectly with sandals as well. This really reminds me of House of CB. Very, like, I have a House of CB dress and, like, quality-wise, no different. Like, no different. The print is absolutely stunning. And it's such a nod to the 90s. I love this, like, with the platforms as well. Um, it's not something I would wear every day. But, you know, if, if you had a bottomless brunch in the summer with your girls, throw a blazer on top. This would be such a nice outfit. And this one, picture a straw bag. Brown sandals. You could even wear, like, a hat. Oh... I'm keeping this one. I just don't know about the size. I don't know whether to order the medium and see if I feel better in the medium. Um, I don't know. How cute is this? I love it. Okay. And then very similar to the previous one, but this one is a maxi and it's pink. Um, this was $45.99. It has a beautiful lace up back on it. That is so stunning. I just hope it fits me because it looks, the bust looks super tiny and I don't even have big, well, I don't think it's going to fit me. <laughs> I should have sized up. 
but that is so beautiful again for a wedding a wedding abroad it's got a lovely little slit down the front okay 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 i knew i knew i knew i was gonna love this dress this is stunning the size is too small i actually i wish i'd filmed me trying to get into it it's like i thought i was gonna get stuck i thought i was gonna have to call adam and be like i'm stuck in a dress but i didn't realize it has a zip on the side here um which would have made it a lot easier to get into um i think i have tied it up a little bit too tight but i think i'd feel more comfortable if i'd sized up to a medium and i think i'm going to feel the same with the other dresses but isn't it beautiful i've just styled it for a reel um with this fluffy bag and i've put platform sandals with it because how 90s is this whole look honestly if you have a wedding to go to this summer make it this outfit please because it's so beautiful and these heels are so comfy i've walked home in these they are platforms are like the most underrated everyone thinks they're uncomfy but they're so comfortable because they've got so much support on your soul and on your heel as well um i always recommend platforms and i'm so glad that they're back in because i'm petite and i just love 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 platforms i've always worn them the slip would make it perfect for a summer wedding oh my god it's beautiful it is so stunning um so yeah i think i'm gonna do like a wedding guest reel or something something along those lines and then this little top which was 25.99 i thought this with a pair of denim jeans would be really nice again probably should have sized up i got smalls in all of these but I should, really should have got a medium. Um, lovely little puffball sleeves and again a really gorgeous floral print. So we've got the top, again it zips here, but as you can see it's a little bit too tight. I would size up in this one. It's very like corset here and um, yeah, it just feel very like flat in it, like pushed, pushed in. And then the next item, I, I told you I was obsessed with pink. These were $29.99. And they look, I, I always size up in my denim at Zara, but a really nice pale pink pastel, not pale, I'd say more pastel. Um, they were called like the straight leg jean, I think, or the mum jean, but they actually look quite wide. So I'll see what they're like. I was kind of picturing these with a nice little corset top for my bottomless brunch, but we will see. They look a bit too big. I feel like I've not done very well on the sizing today. Okay, the trousers, I'm not even going to bother putting a top on with them. They did not look this baggy and loose online. But these are like a really, really loose fit. I do always size up in my denim at Zara. Um, these would probably look really cool with a pair of Converse. I don't know, like they kind of balloon out here. Um, which, they're not very flattering. So, these are definitely a return for me. And then these trousers, I saw these on Perry Shan. Not sure if any of you follow her. Um, she kind of does like reels every single day. At the moment, a lot of hers seem to be Zara. And these were on them. And she actually wore these with this top. Um, she only had a little bit of her tummy showing at the top, which is the bit that I actually don't mind on show. Um, and I got a small in, what size, what were these? These were 50, 49 99 I got a small in these. I thought they were a bit pricey, but now I'm seeing them, the fabric is super thick. They're kind of like a smart, tailored pair of trousers, and they have, they flare at the bottom. And I thought these would just make, these would kind of elevate a really, really simple look to the perfect going out kind of outfit. I love the black contrast of the button. They have pockets and the stitching is quite prominent. So yeah, these are something I'm gonna have to try on. I will probably need to get these taken up. But I'm gonna see what they're like on, try them on with that top. And if it doesn't, isn't right for me, then I'll probably send these back anyway because I kind of had that outfit in my mind. The trousers, they're really stunning, but massively, massively needs would need to get them taken up. I do love the fabric on them. I love the thick pleat. It's more like a stitch actually going all the way down. I've got my boots on underneath this at the moment because you can't even see them. I just tried to put my highest 
shoe on but this was the outfit I was going for I think if the top was a medium then this would have been an outfit that I would have worn tomorrow for the brunch but I feel like I'm just a little bit too squeezed in which is such a shame because this is the outfit that I would have wanted to wear and the sun is like shining it's a beautiful day tomorrow so a little bit gutted about that so that is all. Now I think we're going to have dinner. We normally have it around six, but it's 20 past six. Um, we've got shepherd's pie tonight, so a nice homely dinner. I feel like I need that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, and I hope you enjoyed it, my little try on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to come back to my channel because there will be a everyday makeup look, how I done this makeup. I filmed that today, so that will be up on my channel as well. So make sure you subscribe and don't forget to like the video so that I know what you're liking and what you're not. I'll see you soon, bye.